Oh, the Canon 80D. It's almost nostalgic now, thinking that it came out over two years ago. In fact, almost about three. Now, this has been one of the most popular cameras which have been used and utilized by YouTubers and also photographers. I mean, even Casey Neistat has owned one of these things, and he was open to say that it was a great camera for video recording. So if the camera's this popular, surely it's doing something right, isn't it? The two reasons I bought this camera was reason one, the dual pixel focus. If you own a Canon or you've owned a Canon, you know that one thing that they are doing right is their autofocus. They may be struggling with a few other things lately, but the autofocus is absolutely spot on. There's never been a time that I've been walking around vlogging or recording in the studio, and then I've been thinking, mm, you know, maybe the autofocus is not quite in focus right now. And that's something that is really important to know when you're recording video. You don't want to record a whole scene just to then suddenly find out that actually it's all blurred. Reason two, I needed a reliable second camera. I currently own the 6D Mark II, which I use for most of my photography, but I needed a reliable backup camera, the Canon 80D, which was gonna do a good job. Also, it wasn't gonna break the bank. One thing I really love about the Canon 80D, apart from the fact it's got the dual pixel focus, is the fact that you can swivel the screen around. So it's got this articulated three inch LED screen. And if you want to walk around vlogging and you know thinking you're maybe Casey Neistat like this, you can do because it's perfect for it. Now, a lot of higher end cameras which have been coming out on the market recently still don't have articulated screens. And I just can't understand why they don't put these features in. Now, I started using this camera for vlogging purposes on the move. And I actually coupled this up with a Joby grip, which by the way, I hate. And the reason I hate is because I've gone through three of them and each one has broken. But I soon started discovering that when you add a Canon 80D to the end of a Joby grip, you suddenly start realizing how heavy the camera is. In fact, I started to realize why I was ending up with one singular Popeye sized arm. Now I know it was down to all the vlogging I was doing with the heavy 80D and the Joby grip combo. And one of the most surprising features about the Canon 80D for me is the quality of the photos that it takes. We all know the video is gonna be great and we all know that the autofocus is gonna be great. But the quality of the photos of the 80D are really, really good for a crop sensor camera. Now, what I'm about to share with you is going to blow your mind. I promise you. In fact, this is my personal experience, so some of you might differ or have different opinions on this, I'm sure, but this is what I think. Now, I own the 6D Mark II, which is a full frame camera. I also own the Canon 80D, which I'm recording on right now. When I shoot at a low ISO, so between 100 up to say about 800, maybe 1600 in some cases, I have found that when I zoom into the images, the quality of the 80D is actually a little bit better. How is this possible? It's a crop sensor versus a full frame and the 6D is also a lot more expensive and it should just be performing better. Now, of course, the 6D Mark II performs so much better than the Canon 80D in low light conditions. And when the ISO is bumped up, you get a lot less noise for the 6D Mark II than you would experience with the 80D. Another thing I absolutely love about the 80D is, actually it's not about the 80D at all, it's about Canon. Canon give you a whole wide array of lenses. In fact, probably one of the widest range of any other manufacturer in the market. And I love the fact that I have all these lenses to choose from on my Canon 80D. In fact, I've actually gone out and purchased quite a few of these lenses, which my wife really wasn't happy about at all. Okay, so I've just spent the last two, three minutes telling you about all these good things about the Canon 80D. Surely there's gotta be some drawbacks, right? Well, not drawbacks as such, but there is a few little kinks. The Canon 80D was released over two years ago. In fact, it's probably closer to three now. And this means that in the interim of the two or three years which have passed, many other cameras have now been introduced into the market. In fact, I would say that the manufacturers are competing against each other more than they've ever done. And this means that they've been producing some pretty good cameras. So the Canon 80D has some, let's say, 
rather uninspiring specs compared to some of the newer cameras which are out now. For instance, this camera shoots only at 1080p at 60 frames per second, which for me is more than good enough because I don't shoot in 4K. But most of the new cameras which have now been introduced into the market at this price point are for 4K as standard. Also, the Canon 80D has 24 megapixels, which is more than respectable, but now you can get cameras which are lower priced than the Canon 80D, which is nearly three years old, and they have this 24 megapixels, which is the same. There's also the weight of the camera, which is maybe a little bit of an issue. If you are a vlogger on the move and you're using a JB grip, you're going to get an achy arm. Fact, there's been such a surge in popularity of the mirrorless cameras which have started hitting the market in the recent years. And these cameras not only offer the technology, but they also offer that lovely light feeling, which is like having a helium in your hand. Well, not quite, but they are pretty light. Okay, so I've talked through some of the pros and cons, and I know I haven't gone into in-depth details and reviews about this camera because that's not really my style of doing things. But let's come back to the question which I put in the title of this video. Do I think that the Canon 80D is still relevant in 2019? Well, yes I do, but just. Listen, it's a fantastic all-round camera, but for a little bit of an extra cost, you can get some cameras now in the marketplace which have got some really impressive specs. So really, it's all about what your requirements are. If you need that 4K video or you need the extra megapixels, then you're probably going to need a different camera to the 80D. But if that's not really that important, then the Canon 80D is just a brilliant camera to go for. It's never let me down, it takes great photos, and it shoots great video. So if you own a Canon 80D already, then please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. What's your personal opinion on the 80D? Do you like it as much as I do? Or maybe you don't really like it at all? If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please press subscribe. Now whatever you do for the holiday period, I hope you have an amazing time, and I'll see you all next time.